Let us now proceed and check out how do we use do while loop in case of Kotlin. Now the syntax of do while loop in case of Kotlin is similar to that of Java. So here this is our counter variable int i, right? So now after this I will simply define do while loop. Now inside this I will simply print let's say i, the value of i and then I will simply increment the counter i++. Now the question arises where we are actually doing the condition check. Now in case of do while loop we actually do the condition check at the end. So here I will simply write while and then I will do the condition check. Let's say i is smaller than 10, right? Or i is smaller than equal to 10. And now let us run the code. So in the output again we get 1, 2, 10, right? And now again if I ask you to print all the even numbers with the help of do while loop present between 1 and 10. So for that again inside the do while loop body I will simply write the if condition if i modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0 then only print the value that is print the print only the even numbers and now let us run the code. So here we go 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So the syntax is almost same as that of any other programming language as that of C, C++ and that of Java. So this is all for this video. And again if you are a beginner and want to know how the do while loop actually works then please continue watching this video. So here this is the syntax of the do while loop. Here we first initialize the counter and then we write this syntax do while condition. Now inside the do while we have a body where we actually put our code and then increment or decrement the counter. And same way on the left hand side I have some example for you. So here I will simply print hello three times and here we will check out how the do while loop simply prints hello three times in the output console. So as usual the output we are getting three times so at least three times the loop will be executed. So let us check out the sequence of operations such as in case of do while loop we first execute the code then increment the counter and then check the condition right. So this is the sequence of the do while loop. Now when the loop once starts the code executes that is we get hello in the output. So we simply print hello and then increment the counter and then the counter variable becomes 1 and then finally check the condition which becomes true. Now make a note here we are checking the condition at the end. So no matter if the condition is true or false at least we will execute our code body at least once. So once the condition becomes true and i becomes 1 then this i equal to 1 simply comes at this loop 2 where again we print the value as hello and then increment the counter to 2 and then again check the condition at the end which again becomes true. Now here the counter value becomes 2. Now this counter value again comes in the third loop where we first print the value and again increment the counter to 3. Now this time this 3 is actually not smaller than 3. So the condition here becomes false. But please notice that since the condition is false but before checking the condition we have simply printed hello right here print hello. So at the end of third loop if the condition becomes false it doesn't matter because we have already printed hello in the output. So once i becomes 3 this try to initiate the fourth loop but this does not happen because the condition is false and the loop terminates. So this is how the do while loop works in case of Kotlin.